That's right, the Husker men's basketball team, the eight seed in the South region, taking on Texas A&M today. Nebraska were searching for their first NCAA tournament win in program history. Kevin Suits is in Memphis with more from the game. The Huskers are denied history here in Memphis. Nebraska loses to Texas A&M in the first round of the NCAA tournament, 98-83. Yeah, I mean, I just, I know how badly everybody didn't, I mean, not only wanted to, to be in this position, but to, to make a run in March. And, I mean, I, uh, I, yeah, just a lot of frustration right now. We ran into a buzzsaw tonight. There's no doubt about it. That team is hot. They are white hot right now with the way they're shooting the ball. And they want to see winners. And I'm confident that we're going to be here and we're going to continue on with this. And like I said, hopefully next year we get a win and go on a run and, uh, you know, keep them coming. Like, of course, it's sad to lose, but it's also sad to, you know, I can pray, I, I can pray, I, I can pray for, you know, the coach, coach Hoiberg, you know, anymore. Pray for, you know, pray with, pray with my teammate anymore. That's, you know, that's the most sad thing right there right now. Nebraska players say they did not see this defensive effort coming, giving up 98 points to Texas A&M, a team that struggled shooting the three throughout the year. But here in Memphis, the Aggies made better than 50% of their shots from beyond the arc. It leads to a season-ending loss for Nebraska. The Huskers closed the year with a 23-11 and record. Those 23 wins, it's the second most in a single season in program history. Covering the Huskers at the NCAA tournament, I'm Kevin Suits for Local 4 Sports. Not the result Husker fans wanted. The men's squad, they fall short against Texas A&M. 98-83, to the Big Red will have to wait another year to try and win their first ever March Madness game. After Fred Hoiberg and the Huskers exit this year in the round of 64.